So I want to welcome you to the first episode uh, using the combo scanner. It's a quite new scanner that is in its principle a bit different. This is a scanner um, that is combining two technology like a 9 scan HX. But in this case it's not like in the 9 scan HX case a normal LED white light scanner. In this case it's on the one side a uh, very versatile, very fast laser unit with 13 cross lasers and on the other hand an infrared unit like in the Einstein H or the Einstar but of course a bit more advanced and this is giving you the opportunity besides scanning technical objects it as well enables you to scan organic objects, face parts or anything that you might need for working in the area of uh, orthopedics. So it's a quite new combination. The price is really interesting. Just take a look in our shop, the link down below. Of course if you buy it with us you will benefit on the long run having more videos like that. And uh, I think Scantech uh, will be not so happy about this offer. Let's say it like this. Um, the unboxing video you already seen. Um, nevertheless, it's time to start to use the scanner. I will show you some details about the use. Um, regarding the content itself, uh, what is interesting beside the fact that there is a as well a solid edge license included. This is a scanner that is having a certification by the manufacturer. That means it was certified before it left the production and um, the combo even if it's not carrying free scan in its name is having the genes of the free scan and some rest gens from the ein scans. So what does it mean? The bad thing is there is a dongle. <laughs> so you will have to use a dongle to be able to use the software. But that's already the bad thing. The good thing is like you have that uh, metrology software with all its capabilities. And you have the speed and preciseness as well the resolution of a more metrology like system in just 600 grams. Really handy to scan as well. Narrow areas like car interiors, different uh, laser modes that I will show you soon. And a lot of, uh, let's say, Mm, as well cool features that are from the metrology side like the calibration with the markers on like I explained it already in the Pro HD video when we scanned uh, the airplane uh, wing this gives you a compensation of aberration from lens and gives you a much better preciseness on the calibration so this is as well included in that guy so it's more free scan, actually like an ein scan. It's somewhere in between, but more on the free scan side. So let's start work with it. First step is we are going to connect the cables. <clears throat> The active cable you already know, it's the same like it is used on the Einscan HX and the free scans. Um, 
and afterwards you will find the cable parts on the downside and there is a flash symbol on the plastic that gives you the orientation here is a dot on the upper side that you not try to match it in the wrong way and you already hear the fan starting inside the scanner and that's basically it what I really recommend you to use is this security rope against let the scanner fall down I think it's really in this scanner it's useful because of the fact that you are not having like a full handle grip like an online scan HX what I really like better if I have the choice on the other hand I have here a very small device compared to the 9 scan HX or the free scanners that is much more let's say flexible scanning in small areas and it leaves you like sure that it will not fall down something I really like about it is let's say the rubber grips what I don't like so much is this for people who have not so small hands there is a possibility if you grab it the wrong way to cover let's say the laser in the front side okay what else it is actually um, let's say a metal housing from from the feeling it's cold I think it's some magnesium or something like this it feels heavier like it is I was measuring the weight that uh, Shining um, gives for this in the technical specs and it's right it's 610 grams or exactly 611 grams what is nearly nothing but because of its size you somehow expect it to be lighter but 600 grams is pretty cool I think so after plugging in the scanner there is the next thing to do installing the software regarding the installation of the software there is nothing really new that I would like to show here if you want to be let's say sure that you don't do anything wrong follow the software video for the Einscan Pro HD it's the same process there is no difference and actually normally there are no problems as we already used on this uh, laptop we already used um, the Freescan products we are ready to go we just have to plug in the dongle and we can work with it so let's calibrate so for the software we go here top of the list and as you see we have all the line scan devices running on this PC maybe one day this will be all one software that would be really cool not sure how you think but I was thinking to myself it would be cool if there will be one software for all that iron scan and free scan products if possible for both but maybe just at least for all iron scan products and as well be able to combine the results that you are doing let's say with the different scanners in one software that would be rather cool because you could use the high resolution of an Pro HD or an 2 Plus and combine it with the laser scan results from an HX that would be a really pretty cool workflow for some cases but who knows if you think the same way and I'm wrong just put it in the comments what are your thoughts about this but let's start with the calibration I'm opening up the software and already the software starts showing um, the combo scanner itself and this is the same free scan software that we use for the Pro HD oh, sorry the uh, free scan UE Pro and that means that's already partly implemented that you can use the different scanners with one software but we should give it a try to see if we can combine the different results I think it's not implemented yet what is as well happening is that there will be popping up 
as well the registration login um, as is the new scanner but we already have um, typed in everything and we are ready to go this is what you can see as the overview and what is really cool we never run this um, device here under the this PC but it's already seen to take the calibration file from the last operation on another PC over the new account from Shining. What I think is cool, but let's do the calibration once more because this is the video about the calibration and yeah, you want to see it maybe. Okay, like in the other Einscan devices, you already have a preview about what to do. What is important, make sure that there is no cables on your calibration board. There is a L and a R for left and right. Start your scanner on the upside. And get closer. You are seeing that there is a center you have to keep. And it's really fast. <laughs> the calibration was done while I was waiting for the confirmation of the heights so guys this is a rocket if it's scanning like it's calibrating then it's really fast the positions are shown in the window on the right side of course you can just use the same like you see that I'm doing but you can see here as well what to do regarding the different elements that you can see in the window this is the center if I leave the center these two radiuses don't match anymore if I have it again it's fine if I change the angle there is on the upper area here is shown if the angle in the one direction is fine or if I move it out in the other direction and he loses that path he's showing you the tolerance really became big because comparing to the first free scans and first software versions it's really not sensitive anymore or let's say um, losing track very fast it can have uh, to do with the new very high frame rate that the cameras have that is giving the scanner <clears throat> a good feedback about the movement and it makes of course the calibration easy and fast and <laughs> it's really fast and yeah that was the video about the calibration so it's done see you in the next video about scanning